Hello, hungry people. I am Brad Pros with Chilies and Smoke, and today we're going to talk about how to use wood chunks. Today's video is brought to you by Western Premium Barbecue Products, who supplies a number of different types of wood chunks, wood chips, and other wood grilling supplies. Now, if you're familiar with grilling and smoking, you've probably seen wood chunks and probably also wood chips before. So the types of wood used for smoking and grilling, whether it's the chunks or the chips, is typically a type of hardwood, such as apple, cherry, or mesquite, uh, dried out in an oven or a kiln to remove all of that excess moisture, therefore creating an ideal piece of wood that can be used for smoking. Let me get in closer so I can show you. Wood chips inherently are obviously smaller and are really meant for short bursts of smoke flavor. They can add a little bit of heat when you're searing and smoking, but it's not really that much. Wood chunks, however, <laughs> that's a different story. These are gonna produce a significantly more amount of smoke and last for a significantly longer amount of time. Typically for larger cooks, you might use one, two, even three. Anything beyond that and your food's probably gonna taste a little bitter. All right, so you can see I've got some coals going here. They're glowing red, which is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this hardwood chunk here. This one is hickory, not that it matters for this demonstration, but I am gonna cook some chicken at the end here. So go ahead and drop that in, very hot. So right after you drop in the hardwood chunk, leave the lid off. It's really important to let oxygen get in there and ignite that piece of hardwood. Now you can see that this is igniting right away. This is important to know because it's actually going to increase the temperature of your grill significantly. This is not a time to add food. If you put the lid on, it's going to smother the oxygen and it will actually produce more dirty smoke and make your food taste much more bitter. Now, when I say dirty smoke, I mean that dirty smoke that comes out of a fireplace. That's basically the same thing that's happening here. We need to get past that first ignition phase so that you have some clean smoke. When the wood's almost completely black, that is when you can add in your grill grate and let that grill come up and preheat. This is also a great time to go ahead and add on the lid. Just make sure that those vents are open on top and bottom. All right, it's been a few more minutes. I'm gonna actually slowly close this vent here because we are gonna be smoking. I don't want it to burn up the wood completely. That's important to know. So after a few minutes, the white smoke is gone. I can still see some smoke coming out here. This is ideal. You don't want it to be this thick billowing white smoke anymore. This is the kind of smoking that we need for cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up the lid carefully, away from me. <laughs> and great heat right here. I can see the smoke coming off here. It's very subtle, uh, but this is perfect. So that way I just don't get those bitter flavors. And while I've got a fire going, I might as well add some chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some chicken wings on the opposite side, if I can pick them up. Go ahead and just keep these away from the heat. That way they get a nice smoke flavor without overcooking. And I'll just pop the lid on. The process really is that easy. Light your charcoal. Once it's lit, set your hardwood in there and let this ignite so that it gets rid of that dirty smoke. And then go ahead, put your food in and let it roll. So remember, if you're cooking chicken wings like me, you only really need one big block. If you're doing a bigger cut, you might need two, three. Sometimes the pieces come in little smaller pieces, so just be aware of that. Use and mix and experiment the way that you'd like to. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Always happy to help. Cheers.